And in our spotlight segment, we'll take a look at the U.S. major airlines. They all recently reported their first quarter numbers, but with mixed results. Generally, the airlines see strong corporate demand and a solid outlook for 2019. That's despite the grounding of the 737 MAX, which they are all wrestling with right now. Let's take a look at the latest numbers reported by American, Delta, United, and Southwest Airlines. Delta continues to lead the U.S. major airlines with a market cap of $38 billion. That's followed by Southwest at $29 billion, United sitting at $24 billion, and American at just $15 billion. Delta and Southwest premium valuations are driven from their better operating margins, almost double that of United and American. But United is continuing to improve with leading revenue growth of 6% in the first quarter and three times that of rival American. Here are some of the unit metrics that drive airline performance. Passenger revenue per available seat mile, or PRASM, that increased 2% at Southwest, which topped all the major airlines. United showed the best cost performance and claimed that it would continue to outperform its peers in margin expansion. United also grew capacity the most, up almost 6% in the quarter. Let's take a listen to what Delta Airlines CEO Ed Bastian and American CEO Doug Parker had to say about their outlook for the year. So 2019 is off to a real solid start. The core business performed well during the quarter, which combined with the upside from the American Express renewal (coughs) gives us increased confidence in our full year plan of strong top line growth, margin expansion, and double digit earnings growth. Business has momentum and there are significant opportunities ahead of us. We have a strong foundation with our strategic advantages, which are our culture, our leading operational reliability, an unrivaled network, our loyalty program and relationship with American Express, and an investment-grade balance sheet. Our near-term forecast, though, has been been, um, affected by uh, the 737 MAX grounding, uh, which we currently estimate will will negatively impact Our 2019 pre-tax results uh, by approximately $350 million, and that assumes uh, that they they are um, flying as we currently have them scheduled uh, again by August 19th. And um, the the recent bounce back in oil prices hasn't helped either. Our current estimate for 2019 fuel expense is approximately $650 million higher uh, than it was when we spoke on this call just three months ago. But despite these challenges, uh, we still uh, anticipate our 2019 EPS to increase approximately 10% versus 2018. And as we look to 2020 and beyond, we anticipate our free, our free cash flow pr- production will increase significantly as our historic fleet replacement program winds down. And the two CEOs' outlooks are reflected in the performance of their stocks. Delta's share price, shown here in orange, is up about 10% in the past 12 months, while Americans is down over 20%. But United is the top performer, at least in terms of share price. Shown here in red, take a look. United stock is up almost 30% in the past year, as United CEO Oscar Munoz and President Scott Kirby continue to successfully execute that strategy.